You know, I recently saw a meme on the internet that said, so in retrospect, not a single person in 2015 got the answer right to, where do you see yourself five years from now? And like most people I know, I imagine you're pretty excited to say goodbye to 2020 and hello to the new year ahead. And I don't think a fresh new start has ever seemed more exciting. Now, normally at this time of year, people talk about setting New Year's resolutions for the year ahead, but I don't want you to do that. Why? Because New Year's resolutions don't work. In fact, studies show that only 7% of people who set New Year's resolutions actually achieve them. So today I'd like to share a better way for you to set and achieve your goals and create the life you want to be living in 2021. Now, the best way to assure that the year ahead is a great one for you is to get really clear on what you want your life to look like and feel like in the months to come. So today, I'd like to walk you through the process of creating a detailed vision for your life in 2021 so you can start the new year equipped with your very own success plan for the year and the clarity and the motivation you're going to need to make it a reality. So what we're going to do here is look at all of the main areas of your life and create a detailed vision for each of them. I'm going to have you close your eyes and create a clear image for yourself of what you would like your life to look like in seven different areas of your life. And if you can, once you've done that, go ahead and pause this video and write down what you got in touch with. And then start the video again and go on to the next area of your life. So let's start with your professional life, your business or your job and career. Now, unless you're driving or doing something else that requires your full attention, go ahead now and close your eyes and imagine your ideal vision for your business, job, and career. So what does your daily workday look like? How many hours are you working each day? What time do you start and when do you finish your day? And what major projects have you successfully launched? And what major projects are you working on and what do you love about them? And who are you working with? So get really clear on what your professional work life looks like. And then open your eyes and pause this video and then write down your vision under the heading, My Professional Life. Okay, now that you've done that, go ahead and close your eyes again and take a deep breath and begin to focus on your ideal financial situation for 2021. Thinking about how much money do you have coming in every month from your work and your investments and any other sources of income you might have. How much money do you want to have in your bank account, in your savings account? How much debt do you have? Have you lowered it or eliminated it fully? And how much money have you put into your 401k or your retirement or savings plan or into other investments? And how would you describe your relationship with money? So take a few more seconds to get really clear on what your financial situation looks like. And when you're ready, pause the video and write down your vision under the heading finances. Okay, next let's focus on your relationships. And once again, I'd like you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine what your relationships might look like in your vision of your ideal life. Who are your most important relationships with? How do you treat each other and interact with each other? How much time do you spend with them? And what do you do together? And how are you feeling when you're with them? Now this includes your romantic relationship as well as your family and your friends. So just what do your ideal relationships look like? And then open your eyes and go ahead and write down what you got in touch with. Okay, great. So let's close your eyes again and now let's focus on your personal life. What do you do for fun and recreation? What does that area of your life look like for you? How much free time do you have? How do you spend it? What hobbies or sports are you pursuing? How many vacations do you take and where do you go? What do you do on your weekends? Who do you spend time socializing with? 
and take a little more time and just visualize what you want your personal free time to look like. And then when you're ready, open your eyes and write down your vision under the heading fun and recreation. Okay. Close your eyes again and take another deep breath. And now let's focus on your physical health and fitness. How do you want your body to look and feel in 2021? What kind of exercise routine do you want to have? Do you have a trainer, a yoga teacher? Do you belong to a gym, a fitness center, going to kickboxing classes? And what kind of eating habits are you practicing? How much do you weigh? How strong are you and how flexible are you? And what kind of physical feat would you like to be able to accomplish in 2021? Do you want to be able to do 50 push-ups or run a 10K or a marathon or go for an hour-long walk in the woods every weekend or maybe go for a 20-mile bicycle ride? So get really clear on what you want your physical health and fitness to look like. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and write down your vision under the heading health and fitness. All right, now let's close our eyes again, take a deep breath and focus on your personal growth. How do you want to grow as a person this year? Are there new skills, knowledge, or expertise you want to obtain? Do you want to learn how to play a musical instrument or create your own Instagram graphics? Do you want to take a writing course? Do you want to learn how to control your emotions better? Do you want to learn how to meditate? Do you want to dive more fully into your spiritual practice? Maybe you want to learn a new language. So if you could do anything at all in the area of personal growth in the coming year, what would it be? And once you're clear on that vision, go ahead and write it down under the heading personal growth. All right, now finally, close your eyes one last time. Take a deep breath. And with all the needs that are in the world right now for help and assistance and guidance, what contribution would you like to make to your local community? your state, your country, or to the world. Think about what area would you like to make a difference in? And imagine how you'd like to be of service, either volunteering your time or contributing your expertise or your money to a worthy cause, however small or large you want it to be, perhaps through your church or your synagogue, your mosque or temple, or some other nonprofit, or just simply by yourself. What calls to your heart? And once you're clear on that vision, write it down under the heading, Contribution. Okay, great. Now you have your personal vision for 2021. And now the question becomes, how do you make sure that you actually make that vision a reality? And I want to encourage you to choose one central goal for yourself in each of those areas of your life that you're willing to really commit yourself to. So choose a business or career goal, a financial goal, a relationship goal, a health and fitness goal, and a personal growth goal and a contribution goal that you will commit to achieving by the end of the year. Now, don't worry about the how right now, just what's the goal that you want to achieve? And when I say goal, I don't mean something vague like I want to lose weight or I want to make more money. You got to be more specific. Say exactly what you want to achieve and by when. For example, I will weigh 155 pounds or less by December 31st, or I will be earning 10,000 a month by December 31st. And then once you have your six big goals for 2021, put them somewhere you can see them every single day and schedule time each week to identify the specific action steps that you're going to take that week to move you closer to those goals. And I also encourage you to read through your vision for 2021 every single day, both in the morning and the evening, so that you're able to keep your vision and your goals top of mind. Remember what you want your life to look like and how you want to feel in 2021 and let that be the primary motivation driving your actions. Because when you focus on your vision and how you want to feel rather than some vague and arbitrary New Year's resolutions such as I want to lose weight, you will be far more likely to do the work required to achieve your goals. And you'll be far more motivated to keep going when your things get tough and you run into obstacles. So that's how you create your personal vision for 2021. And before you leave, I'd love you to share one of your goals that you want to achieve in the year ahead and post that goal in the comments below. And research shows that simply by sharing your goal publicly, it will increase your chances of actually achieving it. So have fun creating your vision and working on your goals. 
and I wish you every success in 2021. Now, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for additional resources on how to set and achieve goals, make sure to visit jackcanfield.com and also check out the links in the description below. And let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks again for watching.